What's up, man? YouTube, what's up? Somebody hit the like button. Somebody put some hennies in the chat. If you don't watch these shows live, I don't know what you're doing. Twitch.tv slash dub dot. You can watch all these shows live. I mean, I'm already forgot to do all this. You know what I'm saying? My bad, chat. We forgot to do all that. We forgot to do this. We forgot to do that. No big deal. We're back. Got two topics today, boys. Two topics I want to talk about that you guys can help me with. I need your help, man, because... Uh, like I said, man, you always got to try to think of things to talk about. The man comes and just blesses you with these gifts of things to talk about. And we don't know what's going on, you know. Um, we pretty much sit around and we are prisoners of Madden. Pretty much prisoners of EA and what they decide to do. I appreciate you guys getting in the chat. And if you're on SoundCloud, man, I appreciate you guys watching. Let me know if you're on SoundCloud watching this comment on the SoundCloud because I'll be waiting to read some comments. I got like 40 followers on SoundCloud. I want one of y'all to say something. Golly, you may feel like I'm doing it and I'm paying for the SoundCloud for no reason, SoundCloud people. All y'all want is SoundCloud so y'all ain't, so ain't have to waste your battery on YouTube. But listen, let's talk about the patch. As the tournament this weekend went really well at the Eagles game, I mean, the Players' Lounge event is underway. These are things I talked about last week. So if you don't know about those, please check out Need a Podcast episode 49. This is episode 50. 50 goddamn weeks of podcasting about competitive Madden, man. Uh, I don't really want to talk about how much I hate the game. Let's talk, I don't really hate the game that much, as much as you guys do. But let's talk about the patch. Um, a new patch came out last week. I don't know what the patch was for. You know, I, I really don't. But essentially, the biggest news in the patch was that it changed the way receivers run routes, the way deep route running changed. You know, I, 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 for me, the way routes looked on the field when you had a better route running was different. Now they removed that aspect. That was the biggest thing. So something that wasn't in the patch notes, patch notes, as we said on this podcast many times, I don't read the patch notes. That's not my job. I don't really spend time reading the patch notes. It's really not my... I just play and feels what's done. Uh, so I just play and then I just, you know, feel how the game is different from there on and what changes. You know, I don't really look at the patch notes. But uh, for me, one of the things that's crazy to me is um, there are things that change in the game throughout well, that aren't in the patch notes that they don't tell us about. Now, I don't know if they accidentally do this. I don't know how much. And one of the biggest questions is, um, what uh, do they know this happens? Is it a mistake? Is it an accident? Is it something along those lines? You know, or do they purposely do this? You know, maybe the route running, they purposely change the route running. So now we have to use these abilities for our wide receivers. Now, if I want to run a post, I got to put post specialist and then he'll run the post a little bit better. Because before, uh, before this patch, I didn't have a problem with wide receivers getting open. I didn't have a problem with their route running. And SC right now, I'm using like four 35 cap average wide receivers. Nobody really that great. Um, and I haven't noticed anything really bad about the route running. Uh, for me, so when I tell you guys this, man, and, and the question comes down, do they know about these things that they change and not just not tell us? Or are they accidents? I don't really know how video games work. And a lot of us complain about you know, different procedures or different patches, so on and so forth. And we really don't know how video games work. I don't know how they work, you know, and that's not my really expertise. Neither is it yours, and you guys got to admit that. I don't know if it's a mistake in the game that all of a sudden something else is patched or if they purposely do it, and why would they change route running? Why would they make pass defense better? Uh, you know, so for me, it's a bunch of different things to, to think about when it comes to that. Uh, and... You know, for the most part, I do think they might patch things to change thresholds to make us have to buy new cards, have to use new abilities, man. They have the data. They have the data. All right, this many players are going into games with these abilities. These are the overpowered abilities. You know, these people aren't using these abilities. You know, and, and let's think about that, chat. What is an ability you think players don't use at all? It might have been slant specialists. It might have been post specialists. It might have been corner route specialist. It might have been one of those. So maybe let's change the route running. So now we have to bring these wide receivers with the different abilities into the game. You know what I'm saying? So for me, maybe that's what they do. You know, people aren't using these abilities. People aren't, you know, they're not accessing. They're not using their training on these abilities. So let's let's tweak the game a little bit. Um, I don't know if it's that crazy. Um, For me, uh, we'll see. Halfback guru. I don't know. See, I don't even know what that is. You know? <laughs> 
So for me, I, I, I do think they changed the game in order for us to have to, you know, different thresholds and meet, have to buy new cards. Because if your 92 speed, you know, corner is going to play all year, I mean, no need to even get anybody else, to be honest with you. Video game Vegas, interesting. Um, yeah, all right. So that, that's the biggest thing with the patch is that things are changing that they didn't tell us about. Or they're making changes that we don't know about. I don't know if they're purposely doing it. And this has happened pretty much every patch from the beginning of Madden where when they try to fix the game, something else happens. You know, uh, for me, that's pretty nuts that uh, things could happen that way to where they change the game without telling anybody or you know, without without any warning or without any... I mean, I don't know why they would change something like that as far as the route running is concerned. Like, but... Uh, like I said, pretty much every patch since patches have been made a thing in the last four years or whatever. Well, patches are always a thing, but since MCS and everything, every patch kind of tweaks something that we don't know about, you know. Uh, and I don't know how much that is just because of video gaming or making video games. That's going to happen or they do it on purpose. You know, I guess we'll never know until we find like the deep throat of EA that's just going to come and tell us all the secrets. The closest thing we had to that was my interview with Rex. Uh, I want to say going on probably half a year ago. It is it is my most listened to SoundCloud uh, track. So if you want to listen to me and Rex, it is on SoundCloud. You can watch the whole thing. And he kind of broke down a lot about what they think in the front office. And a lot of that ties into what I think every time there's a patch, every time there's news. I kind of think about what he told me. And that, that goes to you know what they want in the front office and what they want to be important to Madden, honestly. Talk about not giving us Aaron Donald. Does that mean the card was super rare? And 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 we know what's crazy about the if we talk about the Aaron Donald card, um, which just came out, which was a limited Mutt Hero. Mutt Hero program looks pretty cool. Not mad at it at all. Uh, they're giving away a free Mutt Hero if you win 50, 30 games of what is it, 30 games of House Rules, which is cool. But uh, late to late in my Twitch stream right now, we stream these lives on Tuesday chat. So if you're not watching these live. We can ask a question. We can talk about it. I'm going to talk about that. I like when there's certain cards that are super rare. I do. I think it adds value to other things. And I think it lowers the cap. Or not the cap, but lowers the cost of other cards. Like, yeah, I'm probably never going to have that Aaron Donald. But, you know, because there is that Aaron Donald, now people are selling their other D tackles or the D linemen a little bit cheaper. You know, so I think having high limiteds, like really high price limiteds, is a great thing for Mutt. Honestly, uh... You know, I, it's pretty cool. So, yeah, so rare cards I think are good. Um, I think they add something for uh, the super mutt guys, super mutt heads and elite man players like myself. You know, I want Aaron Donald. I want that card. So, for me, I think it's a good thing to have that type of Aaron Donald. It's cool. Uh, so, I don't have any complaints. Uh, so, essentially, what people claim is there's not that many Aaron Donalds out there. Uh, he said he it wasn't a pack when he said he was. I... I'm going to be honest, I, maybe because I'm not a mutt guy, I don't really, and I suck at this, but I don't really open cards. Only time I really open cards or packs because of cards is the mutt 10, like Vic or somebody like that. So, but, I mean, for me, I'm smart enough to realize, okay, I'm going to buy this bundle, and this bundle is just going to pretty much be training. Hopefully, I, I get a high 80 or a 90, give me 50K to 100K. I'm going to make a little bit of coin. It's not, I'm not going to, I have to realize going into this, I'm going to buy this bundle, but I'm not going to get that limited. You know, if you go into buying bundles and I'm going to get this limited, you're definitely going to be disappointed, honestly. Um, yeah, so, I don't know. It, maybe he was in the packs, maybe, who knows what the hell he is. You know, as far as I'm concerned, I, I feel like they could bluff us and tell somebody in packs. So, my, my biggest point, what I'm saying is that I don't really buy the packs because of one particular player. Now, if that happened and Vic was never in packs... And who knows? And who knows whether he's in packs or not? Just because you're not pulling them, or, or or ten of your buddies aren't pulling them, or Twitter's not pulling them. I mean, he, he could just not be in packs. You know, for me, I don't, I don't know. <clears throat> I don't really know. But like I said, I don't buy packs really because of one specific player, uh, because I go into opening my bundles or my packs knowing that I'm probably not going to get this limited. You know. But that's just pretty much a patch. And talking about cards, I'm not the best at talking about cards. I was on the Out of Bounds show with J-Dub and Kep and DC 
and Buffalo K uh, last week. And we talked a lot about packs and everything like that. So for me, uh, that's a good show. Y'all want to check out, talk about packs and everything like that, man. But for me, as far as I'm concerned, uh, I'm more the competitive side. And the most competitive thing right now is the leaderboards, boys. Let's talk about these leaderboards. You know, for me, um, what do I say about, I want, I want to hide all them joints. There you go. All right. For me, uh, the leaderboards is pretty cut and dry. Um, I, I'm going to start by telling you guys this. I don't know why why there's not, why we're not told exactly how this shit works. You know, I, I don't think there's any breakdown of how leaderboards work. I don't think anybody really knows how it works. You know, I don't know why there's placement games. You know, I don't understand placement games. You know, does that mean if I go 0-6 in my placement games, do they make it easier for me? Am I now a bronze? Why wouldn't I just be a bronze after I win five games? Even if I'm 5-12, and 12, why don't I be a bronze then? So, I don't... And also, I don't, I'm not a believer in the bar being broken. I'm not a believer in that. Uh, I believe... One, I, I'll tell you this, man. Chat, I'll tell you guys. You can't complain about not making it. If you played under 100 games of Madden, you can't complain about not making it. That, that's how I feel. Now, if you grinded the shit out of Madden, you got 120 wins, and you got 50 losses, and you're at 400, whatever it may be, then maybe you can complain a little bit. But ultimately, I feel like if you put in the work, uh, you should definitely, uh, what you gonna call it? So if you're not going to put in the, this grind for real, for real, then it's nothing really to complain about, honestly. That's how I feel. On top of that, one thing I've always said about leaderboards is you don't you don't make the leaderboards in the last two weeks or the last week. You know, and to me, that's a mistake. So if you wait till last week, it's kind of what I'm doing now. I'm like 30 and 10, waiting till the last week, and it's going to be tough. And one, when you wait till the last week or the last two weeks, every loss is magnified. Every win doesn't mean that much because you got to grow up fast, and every loss is magnified. So it makes it that much worse. So if you're going to wait to the last two weeks, it's going to be definitely going to be rough for you. And on, on top of that, and uh, I will tell you, I, I have seen instances of people, and Big Gene is one that literally just texted me about an hour ago and showed me he's 4-0, and and he is ranked higher than me on Xbox. Now, I I mean, I don't know how I feel about that. Um, He is undefeated. 4-0 and is a little outrageous, but he is 199th on Xbox at 4-0. and I'm about 210, and I'm at, like, what, 31 and 10, something like that. You know, so I I do think, I, I, I am a believer in playing games, man. I really am. I feel like you should have to grind. Like, Wesley uh, is 31 and 1, and he's, like, top 10, which is a great record. But I feel like, is that a grind? Is 31 and 1 a grind? You know, it, it is is the SC leaderboards this dry that thirty one and one is a grind, or that four and zero Big Gene can be one ninety nine at four and zero, like that's kind of nuts to me. And on top of that, it goes back to this. It goes back to how how does this shit work? Is that not an easy question? Where like where like it should be somebody should tell us, you know. First of all, I don't think there should be any inactivity. There, listen, if I got top 10, I, there should not be inactivity. Nope, I'm going to stay right here. Because EA made it so we don't have to be active on the leaderboard. Club Series killed the leaderboards. I will tell you, man, Madden 17. And we go back to this Madden 17 all the time. We all, for some reason, we're always coming back to good old 17. Because the leaderboards were lit. Why? Because top four meant the world. It did. Even Madden 18. Top four. For the, the DC uh, tournament, well, I still call it DC. I don't know when the hell it ever became my draft. It's always draft champions. Always DC, man. If you're OG, it's DC. But anyway, like for me, for me, um, if they're not going to make top four matter, then I can't blame anybody for getting in the top 10 and not playing. You know, Mad 17 leaderboard was, was awesome because, I mean, obviously when you were in the top five, four or five, you didn't play that much. 
but everybody else was grinding like shit because you had a chance of getting there, you know. And, and the thing is, okay, only four people gonna get the top spots, right? Okay, that's cool, but that means the four people, like one, they're gonna start right away. Everybody's gonna be playing. Oh, the board's open. Let's go. I'm starting right away. Bang, we're getting there. And I don't know what it was. I felt like it was different. I felt like the system was different. Am, am, am I lying? Honestly, for real. Like, I felt like it was different. And, and because, okay, there's top four spots available. You don't have to play any single elimination, which everybody would pay for. But everybody would love it. So, essentially, okay, yeah, the top four people, the top five people are going to be the main people that get that. But then the, the next 20 people are going to try for it, too, because they got a pot. They could possibly get there. They could go on a streak. They could knock out these people. And because those top 20 people are still playing this shit out of Madden consistently. And then not only do you have the top 20 people playing the shit out of Madden, then you have the next 50 people trying to stay in their spot qualified. Then you have the next 50 trying to get in the qualified. So essentially the top 200 or 150 to 200 people never stop playing Madden. They can never stop. So it's a consistent grind from when the leaderboards open until when it ends. And, and top four was pretty much, and, and I've said it on this podcast a million times about top four. So essentially, it kept everybody playing, man. It really did. You know, and, and for me, I don't know. I just think, I just don't. I, I, how about this, Chad? We can all say how it, what matters. I don't think the leaderboard has been that bad. I don't think those guys in the top 10 shouldn't be there. I wish we, there's no reason why we can't see the records. I want to see one argument to why we can't see people's records. You can see it in mud head to head. You can see it in regs online. Why can't you see it in, in, in the leaderboards that matter? You know? That's the question I ask you guys. And is, is it because it's so bad? You know? Like, is it that bad? You know? And on top of that, man, we should find some way find some way to be able to okay how about this let's sort the leaderboards by team okay this guy signed up for such and such let me instead of going to the top 100 let me go search the eagles you know what i'm saying let me see if i'm top four in that let me see if i'm top four in the buffalo bills let me see if i'm top four in the colts let me see what that list looks like why can't we do that on the game would that not make sense there's a tons of drop boxes we can drop box the shit out of our roster why not be able to see that updated live in living color on the game honestly You know, and this is what I asked you guys, man. Now, what is your guys' record, or where are you ranked, and what is your record? You know, and, and for me, like I said, I'm like I think third. Let me go see. I, th- I want to say thirty-two and ten, which is not. I I don't think it's good at all. You know, I think um, I think it's pretty mediocre. But I would be willing to tell you guys that there's people with worse records that are higher than me. You know? And I'm going to go look at my record right now to tell you my exact number. I believe it's around 30 and 10, something like that. 32 and 11. You know? Um, And honestly, I do think that's bad. I don't even know how to look at all the people I beat. I'll just beat that guy. And I beat a bunch of elites. Ah, that's what's ass. I got one disconnection. I don't, I don't even want to talk about this disconnection part, chat. And let's go. Let's take a look. I'll show you guys. I did not lose a game 27-0. to I don't know. I don't know where the hell that's on. I don't know how the hell that's 27-0. to But I won all these games. I got a disconnection against J- against. Elvis Freshly. I got a disconnection against him. He's a two-star goal, so I lost half my bar. The disconnection thing is something completely different. Completely in his own right. But uh let's see, let's comfy door. Alright, he got a hundred and a hundred and fifty-four wins is a lot. Slim got fifty-four wins. I don't know where he's ranked. Ace got 175 wins. That's a lot. These two guys are playing the shit out of the game right here. I'll tell you that. So I can't ever be mad at, at, at they're that high, you know. I feel like that's that's a lot of games, you know. 
I don't know how many losses they have. I, I, I personally don't think either of these guys are really good. Although Comfy did pop me about, uh, you know, a week ago he popped me twice. I, I, I honestly don't think either of these guys are good. So I'd be surprised if, the, if there's less than 100 losses. Uh, I, I, would honestly, I would honestly be willing to bet this guy MBMG Ace has 100 losses. I would say that. I did pop comfy. You see that? You see that score right there, chat? Be respectful. All right? You know, that, and that's just... And even ADOT. ADOT has 194 wins and five championships. So it's only five times you win 6-0. 194 wins. Like, that's a lot, dude. You know, that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. I have two championships. I feel like I'm better than all these guys. Look at these shitters. I mean, it's got Darbs has six championships. Comfy has seven. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, for, to me, it's like, I don't know. And then y'all y'all say that y'all don't want it to be about how many games you played. I think it should. I think playing a lot of games should matter at some point. You know, I don't know how y'all feel. I feel like somebody able to play a lot of games, I think that's a, I don't want to say it's a good thing, but I think it should matter. You know, I honestly, I feel like, I, I tell you that, I don't think 31-1 and one should be. I don't think 31 and 1 should be top 10. Unless everybody like hear me on this chat. I think uh a, I say how about 100 wins and 20 losses I think would be should be higher than 30 wins and one loss. What do you guys think? You know, it's similar, it's a little bit less win percentage, but it's just a lot more games played, you know. I don't think the, I, I I would honestly I would honestly think to me that I don't think there's anybody to 300 with a 300 and like let's look I you're right I agree if you're 300 and 200 that shouldn't be a win but uh, I'm saying 120 so essentially let's say 400 and 100 something like that now, I don't know what these guys what these guys win percent who do you who do you guys think up here that doesn't have a good win percentage I don't know you know. Yeah, I think you should have to play a hundred games. You know, I don't know. I'm two seventeen. Two hundred and one forty. Yeah, two hundred and one forty is disgusting. All right, if they, I mean, honestly, there's someone with two hundred over 200 losses. They shouldn't even be in the top 100. If you have over 200 losses, honestly, I'm to the point where if you have over 100 losses, you shouldn't be you shouldn't be in the top 100. Like, 100 losses, you should be disqualified. Like, you should be, all right, you dude, you, you ain't got it. For real. Like that ass. You could combine my ranked online, any online shit, you could combine me for five years, I don't have 100, 100 losses. Like, that ass. Like, you should be... You should definitely just be disqualified. 100 losses, you're out. You're out. You're out. You're not winning any money this year. You're out. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel. You know? Win. What, what's your record? Are you really a 300? So, hold on, Win. Then my man said he's 383 and 280. 238 losses, 300. All right, so let's say he's 380 and 220. That's disgusting. Yeah, you should be out. You should be out. Get him out. Got to get him out. Yeah, that's that's ass. That's the, yo, 300, 200. You have loaded up Madden and lost 230 times. That ass. Like you should just not be a, you should not be allowed at any in any event, bro. Like that ass. You have loaded up Madden, sat there for a half an hour and lost 230 times. Well, you have spent less times, 230 times 30 is how many minutes you fucking lost in Madden. That's, that's terrible. Like, like, uh, where's my, where's my calculator? We gotta calculate how many minutes of your life you have lost in Madden. Cause I, 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 this is, this is unreal to me that you have done that. Like maybe I'm tripping. Oh, you lucky motherfucker. Oh, we got that. Okay, let's just see this properties. All 
Oh, that's really not going to work. Oh, well. All right. Let's see. I'm going to see here, though. 60 minutes. Oh, no. We'll say this. Okay. We'll see this. Clear. Let's see. Okay. 45 minutes times 230. You have spent 10,350 minutes of your life losing. Divided by, let's see, 60, right? That's an hour, right? You have spent 172 hours of your life losing in Madden. Divide this by 24. You have spent over a week straight losing at Madden. A week straight. Over seven days, seven and point two days of losing in Madden. 200 losses in Madden is disgusting. Now it's cool. Now, now I want to say, now, now let, let's rewind. Because not everybody's me and I'm not even good. Not everybody's the best player in the world. Y'all probably out there losing a lot. That's cool, but there's no way in hell somebody with 200 losses should be top 10 in any goddamn leaderboard in the world. Ever. Ever. Any leaderboard. Someone has legitimately put their foot in your ass 200 times. The word leader should never be associated with you. Ever. Literally. Seven days straight of losses. I, listen, I love I love the casuals playing the game. But there, there's my head-to-head. -head. We go to my head-to-head -head leaderboard, there's tons of casuals. God bless your heart. That's awesome. But for somebody to lose 230 times is nuts. Is nuts. Nuts. And to be top 10, it's not bad. He learned to get back up when he lost 230 times. That Now I'm 320 and or I'm 32 and 11. Now this is my question to you chat, my question to you YouTube. I am 32 and 11. Should I be ranked higher than a person that's 320 and 230? Should I be ranked higher than that person? Cuz he's 3 to 2 win the loss. I'm 3 to 1 win the loss. I only got 40 games played. He's got 500 games played. I should not be higher than him. So 32 and 11 should not be higher than 320. I don't understand. What, so he should be higher than me? Or I should be higher than him? I don't understand what y'all asking. No, tell me who should be higher. Me or the guy with 230 losses? <laughs> I, forget, I forget if I yes or no it. Who y'all taking? Me? Oh, he's grinding. For real? So how can y'all say... So how is my question y'all. How can y'all say that Wesley, who's 32 and, or 31 and 1, should be top 10, but the guy that's fucking 300 and 200 should be higher than me? I, I don't understand that. I mean, thirty-one. Well, of course, it's better. Oh, for me, I just, I just, I think three hundred. I think having two hundred thirty losses is fucking disgusting. I don't know what you. I think that's. I think that's atrocious. If I had two hundred thirty losses, I'm, but I'm making YouTube videos every hour. I'm done. I don't know how y'all don't think that's atrocious. I think that's disgusting. I think the players should never like try to compete ever. Seriously, I don't know. It's just, I don't give a fuck about the schedule. I can be playing Jesus, Moses, John the Baptist, everybody. I don't care. I'm not losing 320 times. A week worth of losses. What the hell? A larger sample size. A larger sample size of feet in his asshole. Yes. Two hundred and thirty losses. Bro, I don't think I could sit here and purposely lose that many games. I don't think it, I don't think it, I have enough time in my life to do that. That's nuts to me, man. I understand.
understand that sample size matters. But that's why Gene, who is foreign fucking O, can't be higher ranked than me. Agree or disagree, chat? He probably lost a lot. Then it started streaking. Gene is 4 0 and he's higher than me. That's all I'm saying. I feel like you should at least have to play 50 games. I agree with that. I, I tell you what, if you have 100 losses, you got to go. If you get the 99 losses, you should never, you should never play. No, what leads to a dead leaderboard is making it not fucking matter. That's what leads to it. I just talked about, man. If they had any type of top anything, boom, it'd be popping. And I told you why it was popping. Because every single, all top 200 people needed to keep playing the entire time. I quit my first games. I Because I had an old, that, yo, that's one reason. Yo, I had an old playbook, which is another thing. One, there's two things they need. New season, reset your team. Also, they need a, a reset button. 1,000%. I don't care if it costs 100K. If you're if you're 2-0 and oh, and you want a new team or you want something else, 100K reset. Boom. Get, let me get a new team. That's all they need to put in the game. What's wrong with that? Put a reset button. I don't care if it's 200 fucking K. I don't care how much it is. Put any type of reset in the game. I would be cool like this. And it costs something. I'm gonna tell you why it costs something. Because they're giving away rewards. And and I would and I, I think you guys can agree with me that. Make it free. Make it every game you could change, right? Make it free. Make it every game you every game you could change your player. Every 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 game. Why the fuck I gotta lock one team in for six games? What if I went you know what I'm saying? What is the point of that? Someone explain that shit. Make it free. You don't got to pay to enter. I, I don't care. We don't get any rewards. Or make it like we'll get 1,500 coins per game. Make it free to enter. Make it. And why do I have to? Why can't I change my team every game? You know what I'm saying? They won't make it free because they're giving away rewards. They can't just give away 90K and you enter for free. That's That's weekend league. You know, just give me 200 or 2K or 2,000 coins per game. That's cool. Whatever it may be. But why can't I change my team every game? Why do I have to lock in the team? For, but this is beyond the fact. Yeah, I mean, how about this? We can debate all day. How the hell can't anybody tell us how this shit work? Wouldn't that, isn't that ultimately, can't we all ask for that? Whether you agree to this guy and that guy or this guy, whatever, whoever you agree with, can we all agree that, damn, somebody should tell us how this shit work. Also, why can't we see, why can't we see records? Not being able to see records is disgusting. It, it really is. It's a shame. It's disgusting. Now, I, I think not being able to see somebody record it is terrible. That's all I want. I don't like open SC. I don't like. I don't want to have. You can use every player. No, I grinded the shit out the game. I spent a shit ton of money. I want a luxury that I have more players than your bum ass. Cause your bum ass ain't want to grind salary cap. You didn't want to play my head to head. You didn't want to play seasons, and you don't want to spend money. No, I don't want you to have every goddamn card. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Joe. Twenty seven months, my guy. I appreciate it, man. Monahan, I feel like that's a I feel like that's a good record. I feel like that I feel like 125 and 26 is a really good record. And and, and for me, and for me, for my man Monahan to be 125 and 26, and to have that that guy with 230 losses over him, that's 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 brutal. Bro, I, I honestly, there's one thing I know I could listen, man. You know what I'm saying? Man, all they need to do is make this shit matter up top. That's all. That's all you need to do. 230 losses is disgusting. 
Like 230 losses to me is, is absolutely disgusting. My display caps are not working. I don't know why that happens. Sometimes, sometimes when I don't refresh my OBS fast enough, my display capture don't work. I don't know what you tagged me in. I didn't get, I didn't get anything. But uh, anyway. I'm not really too worried about it. I believe he has 230 losses. I mean, bro. I'll tell you right now, man. Winning championships don't mean that much. Winning championships don't mean shit. I just won a championship. I ain't get nothing for that. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what's going on, man. I really don't. It's just a lack of, like... I hate really bashing individual people. But, you know. One day, chat, one day I wish I was commissioner. You know what I'm saying? That's one of my goals in life, to be the commissioner of MCS, man. You know what I'm saying? I think when I think I can kill it as a commissioner of MCS. I really do. I really do. Now my relationship with the entire EA building and all that is not the best. So I don't think it will ever happen. That's why it's just a pipe dream. Um, but I honestly feel like, man, if I really I know what we need as a group of people. I don't know how to like get it all together and organize all that shit. But I know what we need and you know, and I know what can make our product the best. You know, for me, but no, I honestly. Well, the reason they start nobody needs to play is because they got rid of the best thing that the leaderboards ever had. There are no leaderboards. There really are no leaderboards. DC maybe, but there's a hundred and fucking eighty people that joined DC. Doesn't matter. You could shit fart and roll your way into that to that tournament. It's, it's, it's just a joke, and there's no there's no benefit for being eight or being 158. It's the same as you get thrown in the tournament. Here we go, let's go. They completely removed what made the MCS great, and honestly, what made playing man great is just the leaderboards. They removed the shit. You know why they removed it for us? For little Timmy, he little Timmy grinded like shit, like my man Slim Ghost. Slim Ghost, he, he's ranked 200, and he's 15th in the club. They, they, it's a leaderboard for him. He grinding like shit. My man Slim out there grinding. Man, I couldn't be the commissioner. You know why I couldn't be the commissioner? Uh, everything I would do would be made for the top 200 people. I wouldn't give a shit about nobody else. Every decision I would make would be for the top 200 people. You know what I'm saying? That's because, and, and honestly, let me tell you this, chat, and I'll tell you, all my decisions will be made for the top 200 people, and all their decisions are made for the other 2,000 people. If that makes any sense, man, we're talking about what's good for the top 200 people, right? But all they care about is the next 2,000 people that want to try to play. That's what they give a shit about. How can I get these other 2,000 people playing? You know? And, and I haven't really, listen... That was crazy, like, it was crazy, no, I think more than 50, I don't know, no, nah, I, mean, I don't think more than 50 people, really, no, but see, Tom Ball, no, listen, it's, but they don't want it to only 200 people, they want it to be 20,000 people, because the more people that play it, the better it looks, the more they can grow, and honestly, as a person that wants it to grow, maybe that is the best thing for it. You know, maybe that is the maybe more people playing. Maybe little Timmy Two Shoes down the street. Maybe he start popping. Maybe man keeps growing. You know, 
who knows, man? But like I said, if I was commissioner, all my decisions would be made for the 200 people that are that are in the chat, and I wouldn't give a shit about the other 2,000 people. But this being said, man, I will tell you this, man. If you don't qualify for club series, I, I'll tell for me. I don't think it's no excuse. I really don't. If you put, I, I, I really think there's no, I think the leaderboard's kind of, I don't think they suck. I think they're broken, but I don't think they're terrible. And I think if you, if you, as a man player, if you commit to grinding this shit and you get, and you don't get there, I mean, ultimately, I think it's, it's, it's all your fault, really. You know, that's how I feel. I feel like if you, and, and I said it when I started, man, if you, you got to start a leaderboard right away. I'm I'm like on the edge because I didn't start right away. I'm trying to start now. And it don't matter how good your record is now, like shit. And I've never believed in a broken bar. I've never believed in that theory. You know? I feel like uh fifteen hours a day is a lot. I wish I could play fifteen hours a day. That'd be tough. No, right listen. Uh, one thing, listen, I think the matchmaking is good. I really think the matchmaking is really good. I have no complaints about the actual matchmaking. None at all. I just, this is what I want. I want to be told how this leaderboard works. That's what I want. You know? And I want it, I want being ranked number 13 mean more than being ranked number 73. Especially being ranked number 2 being mean more than being ranked number 88. And I think that's one of the biggest deals... Where they could change. You know what I'm saying? One of the biggest things they could change to make leaderboards pop a little bit more. That's what made it pop back in the day. When you're top four, you go right to a live event. Or you go right to a group. Or whatever it may be. Whatever the hell you go to was a luxury. You know, and it will still be today. And Zan, Zan got a good point that you go ahead and put, you know, if it means being top two in your club, whatever it may be. I don't even know how the whole format works now. But I, it has to mean something. Being higher on the leaderboard has to mean something. It shouldn't just be everybody throwing to the group. You know, if you're good enough to be a top five player on the leaderboard, you should be rewarded for it, honestly. Well, you know, I don't know how they would do that. But no, I, I don't think the matchmaking. I think who you play is fine. I have no problem with that. If, you, if everybody's in the top 200, if I'm in the top 200, you're in the top 200, and we're searching at the same time, we're going to play. You know, you never really play a, a shitter. I, I don't know. Yes, people will play a 1,000. Yeah, that's why the game is ass. Ain't nobody playing this shit. The best players aren't playing. Everybody's just sitting a little, you know what I'm saying? Like, and on top of that, okay. All right, say, all right, now the top players don't stream, right? But say if, you know, if Kiv and Mo, all these guys had to play games, they would eventually pop up on my stream. I would eventually play them. You know, I would eventually play such and such. I would. So all you need is like one or two or three or four streamers that are playing cop games, and you're going to see everybody. Now we see nobody, which is good for them. But is that good for watching Madden? You know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. This is a lot of shit that could be better. And it's crazy that the shit has gotten worse. That's what's crazy. That's what's nuts. The shit has gotten worse. Kevin, okay, yeah, I'm all on board on competitive mutt. I'm all on board. Kev, Kev, that was Kev I did last year. It's time. You know, it really has gotten worse. In four years, it has gotten worse. You know, four years, it has definitely gotten worse, man. Yeah, nobody plays salary cap. Kip is right. Salary cap is, salary cap is just for us. Them these kids don't care about salary cap, and they tell me, man, and and, and I'll tell you, a lot of y'all, most people in here will tell me, man, play salary cap. We want to play, see you play good games, bro. I get more people watching me rip packs and play fucking mutt. That's what these kids care about. Real rap. That a one thousand percent, man. Let's see. SC, SC is cool. It was, I mean, I don't have no problem with SC, but honestly, 
Listen, it could be full. It can be full mud. Yes, the fucking kid. Why can't? Why can't? Because kids are going to. you damn right. You know who one of them kids that's going to have 90 overall backups? Me, right here. Dub dot W. Yes. Make a full mud. I will have 90 overall backups. And if you can't have 90 overall backups, God damn it. Then, I'm sorry, brother. You're not a professional man player. That's it. Period. That's it. Full money for little Timmy. Like real rap. I I can't afford. I got a job. I this is how they say. I have a job and responsibilities. I can't afford to put. Then you're not a professional man player. You're a fucking casual. I'm sorry. That's just how it is, man. Like dead ass. I'm serious. Like it sounds shitty, and a lot of y'all don't have can spend thousands of dollars on a game. Y'all can't play the game for 15 hours. That's what separates you from me. There should be a separation. That's it. I'm sorry, man. You should not be on my level to compete. Both on time played, skill, all that. No, not at all. Sit that ass. It's not about someone being broke. It's not about being broke. It's about having time to play the game. Because I'll tell you right now, they give me a shit ton of coins for weekend league, for my head to head, for all these seasons. You know what I'm saying? So for me, it's not about money. But for me, like, listen. They give you tons of coins. They give me tons of coins. Why? Because I'm good at the game and I win 95% of the games. So, yes, there should be a huge difference in my team and what I can do than what you, the casual player, can do. Period. There should be. I'm sorry. It's, I'm sorry it's like that. Y'all think I'm an asshole. I don't understand. Like, why? Like, why should I not have a better, why should I not have an easier time to make a team? That's the whole point of this being a career. This being something I could do all the time. You know what I'm saying? That's all. <coughs> everybody, everybody, this is all I hear all the time. They make it so hard to be a competitive man player. But then y'all want the same shit I got. Because y'all want to play y'all little 30 fucking games. And then, oh, I, I, I want this, that, and the third. That's what I'm saying. Like, no. I see. I mean, listen. I don't know, man. Wesley's right. SC, nobody cares about SC. They don't even know how to get to that leaderboard. Don't even want to make the team. SC is solo challenges. <laughs> nah, Regs is awesome. Regs is 1,000% awesome. And I like draft champions too. I really do. I wouldn't mind a, 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 a major on my... Get this club series the fuck out of here, man. They, 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 they messing up the club series, man. SC is awesome, but it definitely has, I, I don't have a problem with SC, but it definitely has a disconnect from the other, from, it has a, it definitely has a disconnect from the eye of Madden players, from the eye of the casual Madden player, it has a huge disconnect, 1000%. Exactly, Wesley, and on top of that, he'll never power down his team, and plus he don't know how to do it. We barely know how to do this shit. I got to read a manual. I got to have 400 people in the chat helping me how to do this shit. You know? Nah, regs is cool, though. Nah, regs, is, regs, regs, the regs tournaments have been very good. From Madden 18, 19, and 20, they've all been very good, honestly. Vikes, my guy, I appreciate it, man. I, listen, I'm all for I'm all for the, the I'm all for the much straight. I'm I, you ain't gonna get me to. Uh, I agree, mutt is definitely the only uh, the only mode people care about for sure. I listen, I I agree, man. I honestly do feel I I feel like I feel like straight mutt would be a good idea. 
I don't know why they haven't done a straight mutt. You know, um, I think it does come down to that pay to people would complain complain about pay to play, but I let me tell y'all something right now, chat. Now you got it's more expensive to play salary cap than it is to play mutt. One thousand percent more expensive. I'm playing mutt. I know who the hell's on my team. I don't have to try out this player, power up this player, power down this player, power up this ability, turn this ability off, turn that ability on, try this new player. Oh, he got one point of speed. Let me try him. Oh, I don't like him as cap. Bro, mutt, I'm, let's go. Oh, it's a new card out. Let me get that one card per week. I'll get one new card per week. Like, salary cap is way more expensive than mutt. Way more expensive. Mutt, I'm set. My team is good. Oh, the new Ramsey coming out this week. I'll get the Ramsey. Hey, man, I might I might try out the Le Leapfrog shit. I might try it out every once in a while. But SC is way more expensive than Mutt. It's not, no, it's honestly, it's not even close, man. Talk to EA. Better tell Kiv, Journey, and Skimbo to go talk to EA. I don't know what the backlash would be for, for Mutt, though. Like, what, chat, what would be the downside, though? Look, I gotta buy. I gotta buy new Marquez Valdez, Angela Valdez Scantling. I gotta buy Angela Valdez Scantling and shit. That cost me fifty k. If I had a mutt team, I would never buy Marquez Valdez Scantling ever. Ever. I would be like, look at that shit card. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, Lt Milton, I'll tell you, man, is not a season game. It's not. It's not a C uh, Ultimate League was ass because nobody trying to watch that many games. Uh, everybody trying to watch one game, get in and out. That's all, man. Honestly, man, I, I don't know, man. I just the leaderboard. It I, I'm disappointed in the leaderboard. Just honestly, I'm just disappointed that we don't know what's going on. We don't know how it works. We don't have a commissioner, chat. We don't have a fucking leader that can do shit. We don't have a leader. That's crazy. Like, that's crazy. We don't have a leader at all. Now, Joke can't be on the board. No, 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 no. Joke can't be on the board, D-Card. You got to keep Joke away. Joke is, Joke is a negative. Like, me, me and Joke, we negatives. You gotta get just the crowd. You gotta get just the the, the count. The, you gotta get the crowd favorites. Kiv, Drenny, Skimbo, and I don't know who the hell else. Somebody that don't. Somebody that don't talk. Maybe put Blocky in that joint or somebody. Put somebody that don't talk and is never like controversial. No controversial players. No, nah, probably a little too controversial. Yeah, the Disney. You gotta get the Disney crowd. No, nah, Clef, 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 too hood for Disney. Clef can't be, Clef not in it. Clef, don't disrespect Clef. Clef not Disney. Bugs not good enough to be, like, you can't, look what you just said. Kiv, Drenny, Skimbo, and Bugs. That's just like, that's, like, it, it, say, say, the, say EA open the door, right? They say Kiv, damn, they go Kiv. Oh, they go Drenny, the two-time Disney. Oh, they go Skimbo, the three-time. They're about, Oh, there go Boogs. That's going to fuck up the whole argument. As soon as they see Boogs, it's going to fuck up the... He's going to have them glasses on, big ass head. That's going to fuck the whole argument up. They're going to be like, nah, we good. I'm telling you, it's going to mess the whole argument up. Big ass head and glasses. So what you need to do, if everybody ate better, we could stay up later and be able to play games better. Like dead ass, man. Yo, you can't have Boogs. Blocky could Blocky could be in there because he's not gonna say nothing. You know what I'm saying? They can't have controversy. Like, they listen. I'm like the boy that cried wolf or something. Like, I maybe I complain too much or I don't know. They're not gonna listen to me. I'll be feeling like I know what I'm talking about. Not all the way, maybe like 85% know what I'm talking about. Boogs has outplayed Skimbo last three majors. Dirk, that's a lie. Don't just say anything. Skimbo was in the final four of the Man Bowl. There was the last two made. What? Blocky would be like, yeah, mm -hmm, yeah, I agree, you know. Blocky the only person that, like, his regular talk is whisper. His regular talk is whisper. 
Yeah, I think of him as that. Yeah, you know, I think that's a good idea for the leaderboards to be able to be able to see see the records and everything. I agree. That is. So we good. I'm saying I don't even know who else Disney could even be on the list. Henry Henry is creeping up the list. Henry is creep, Henry is creeping up the list. Listen, if you wear glasses at playing the game, you are you are on the, and you're not shit. Cause there's Henry, then there's Bugs. Bugs wear glasses, but he's shit. And he hasn't worn glasses at the live event yet. You know what I'm saying? Once he wears glasses, then Bugs might elevate. But if you wear glasses, oh man, you you are the target fucking audience at EA. You are who they want to target. The glasses wearing dudes that played it. You are it, buddy. You are the. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Henry might be on the list. Slim, my guy with the sub. Thank you, man. Bandana Mills is not on the list. Bandana Mills not allowed anywhere near the building. Nope. Bulls can't be on no list, bro. Oh, fancy of the glasses type? Yeah, I'm telling you. Oh, I might have to throw some glasses on. No, but for real, man, I don't know. I feel like this is the biggest thing to me, man. We got Matt Marku, right? He is the commissioner. He is the most disconnected person from us in the world. Like, he is the most disconnected fucking person from this community. Like, he has no idea about us at all. You know? And that's that. That's crazy to think that these are the people, you're essentially the leader of these people, and you have no idea. You don't talk to nobody. You know what I'm saying? You don't communicate with nobody. You're not a part of this at all. So, like, literally, no, he has no Communication he has no relationship at all. Like none at all. And that's crazy. Like that's that's nuts. And well, I think it should be the opposite. You know? Like even as much as we kill Clint and we kill Rex and Cray I don't think nobody killed Craylo, but you know what I'm saying? These people legit I legitimately have a relationship with Rex and Clint and all these people. You know, like that's crazy to me that it's literally no relationship and it's not even that he has, doesn't have a relationship because that's cool. You want business. You don't want to be in the chats. You don't want to be listening to the podcast. That's cool. But to have no idea about what we need or want as a community and to have no communication with us to me is nuts. It's nuts. Now, I will tell you this, Hip. He probably knows some nerd shit that I don't know. It's a lot of you that know some nerd shit that I don't know. But if I was ever in charge of some shit, the relationship with y'all would be the most paramount thing in the world. Period. It might not be the right way to do business. I'm not good at that. But I just feel like I, I think that's super important. You know, in, in, in order to be, in order to do the right thing, I think you need to care about us, you know? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about RG. I mean, RG and Chow. I will tell you, obviously, RG and Chow are the only people in the building that have played Madden. At a good level, you know. Uh, um, but I don't know. I personally feel like RG would. Be, I think Chow is a little more quiet, laid back type of guy. I don't know if him being in the spotlight like that would be. I don't know. That's their personal thing. They would like that job. Uh, I think RG would probably be pretty good. But honestly, and this is what RG and Chow told me. It's shit that Marku do that. None of us could do like as far as getting deals and understanding shit. He does a lot of that stuff, you know. And 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 like I said, Chow personally to me has vows for Marku a lot. But all I can tell you is how I feel like I feel like a, 
any type of relationship with us is is non-existent non-existent you know and, and to me i think that's detrimental to what they are trying to do you know you know i don't know what i i i can't tell you what somebody else would do what they wouldn't do you know Uh, but honestly, I wouldn't want to work for them, dude. I really wouldn't. You know, I, 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 I from I, I haven't. I don't know how. I would have. I, I, I would probably leave. They'd probably piss me off. You know. Bugs, you should be the community manager, bro. Bro, let me out. I don't think you're going to make it as nothing else, Bugs. You might as well be the community manager, man. Bugs, I can see you. Community manager, Reggie, man. You could be out. You can do the stream with Kralo and shit. You know what I'm saying? I think Bugs could be a good community manager. You know what I'm saying? I, I think it's in the works, man. Bugs could do it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, listen, is this tech? The only time we see Marku is at the beginning of the stream showing off the belt and at the end. One, <laughs> you ain't the only one. The motherfuckers that are there all day at these tournaments, that's the only time we see him too. But I tell you what, he called the shit out of my phone when he had to find me for money, huh? He called the shit out of my number. He knew my number by heart when he was ready to find me money. He was ready to take my money, save his ass. He called my phone instantly. W, we got to talk. Since then, I ain't hear from him. We haven't heard from him since then, man. My man, Dick Wong, said, Bugs is pussy. If I ever seen him in real life, I'll beat the shit out of him. Dick Wong, I, I, I got you over Bugs, too. Bugs might be bottom five in fighting in the man community. Like, I'm, I'm really trying to think of somebody I would pick Bugs over in a rumble. Like, it's just a straight-out rumble. We're, we're on a bus. Let's say we're on a bus, right? So you can't run around. You know what I'm saying? We're on a bus talking shit and then just break out rumble. Who would you take Boogs over? Boogs over Lil Man? <laughs> working towards my... Boogs over Wesley? I don't know, man. Let's see. Master, I master a little... You know, Master probably labbed how to fight. You know, if I throw my, my elbow at it, 45 degrees angle upward thrust and it hits him in the chin, it could it could sever his spinal cord and I could win the fight. You know, but if I see his angle on his shoulder to the left a little bit, I can go for a sweeping leg kick. Swear to God. That is definitely... Tell me that's not Master. Master the only one, chat, Master the only one that has never been in a fight, but probably got 40 different fighting strategies. If my jujitsu doesn't work, I can break out my karate. If that doesn't work, I can do my drunken dance fighting. I bet you he has a thousand, a thousand fighting strategies. This has never fought. Boogs over Cookie. Yo, Cookie Boy and Boogs got the same body type. Like, just all, all, all head and no shoulders. Like, no... Like, you know, they don't have no, like, don't have no strength, you know what I'm saying? Papa Dot, y'all have to realize, listen, y'all have to realize, Bugs is the is the Detroit version of the Fresh Prince. He grew up in Detroit, but shit got dark, he got beat up one time and had to move to Atlanta. That ass. Bugs is the Detroit Fresh Prince. He got one little fight, and his and Alex got scared and said, "Bugs, we moving to Atlanta." I don't know, Kit. Listen, <laughs> yo, Matt Spoto would beat this shit out. Yo, Spoto, uh, Spoto not in the bottom ten, bro. He too feisty, and he got the swoop. Spoto not in the bottom ten. Spoto, get Spoto out the bottom 10, bro. Ice? No, get Ice out the bottom 10, too. Ice, bro. Nah. I'm Ice over Bugs. Yeah. 
the sport sport on that sport on that bottom ten. Ice cube, <laughs> yo. Yeah, sport on that bottom ten. Yeah. Bugs over Wu. Yeah, Wu can't. First of all, Wu can't be in a list because nobody has ever met him. One, if nobody has ever met you in real life, you can't be on any list of anything. Ever. Ever. Like, you cannot. All these people we're talking about, I have met. So I can talk about them. Wu, he can't be talked about. Who's. who's listen, chat. AKG versus Bugs would be a funny ass rumble. I don't think AKG could fight, but he like 6'11", bro. His arm's long as shit. Yeah, Joe, Joe whooping. Joe, Joe actually like six foot, and he not skinny or nothing. And you know Joe angry and shit, so Joe not, Joe not in the bottom ten. Yeah, Taylor Gang can't be on no list either. Because when I heard Taylor Gang's 5'7", too. Yeah, Joe's not short. Yeah, Joe about six foot. Joel a little bit shorter than me. Yeah, Joel not short. So what we supposed to go up there and have a, a fight in wrestling? We were supposed to we just talking shit. So at the classic, we just supposed to all fight each other? Where was this shit at the classic? We just I'm just cabin. We were supposed to show up and really fight? Like, nah, fuck that. You said you could beat me. Let's fight. Like what? Yo, like, don't take this shit serious. What's <laughs> we just capping? <laughs> what was that? Where was all this shit at the classic? Why y'all ain't fight? Like, what? I don't want to fight none of y'all. Like, what? Like, what? I'm what? Yo, do you see me in a picture with Clef? He like my little son. He, he nipple height. I'm not losing a fight to nobody that's nipple height. If you're nipple height, listen, we can't, you can't lose a fight. That's it. I don't care how husky your head and how small your hairline is, bro. I'm not, listen, nah. Nah, when you nipple height, man. Don't ever fight over man, dude. Look, bro, bro, I'm really just capping. I'm really just capping. I don't know why I fight nobody. I haven't fought in like 10 plus years, bro, for real. But we used to, high school used to just be, we used to just rumble every, every, like if you didn't fight in high school, you had a boring ass life. Like, seriously, if you weren't in fights every other day in high school, I, I really feel sorry for the life you had. Seriously. Y'all don't like Clef. Y'all don't like Clef. Dead ass. Like, do, do we just gang up? All right, this is my 10 people. I'm going to go find another 10 people. It was really like the Jets. Jets versus what? What West Side Story. It was the Jets versus who the hell were the Mexicans? What were the Mexicans called? It was the Jets versus who? What were the Mexican gang in uh, West Side Story? Oh, what the hell? Come on, chat. God damn. It was the Jets and the Sharks. Was it the Sharks? It's not the Sharks. Was it? Was the Mexicans in West Side Story? Y'all probably too young for West Side Story. I'm whooping wild big ass. It wasn't the Warriors. Y'all really never saw West Side Story? Chat, am I this old? Do y'all know what West Side Story is? It's the Sharks? All right, it's the Sharks. All right, that, I, the Sharks versus the Jets? Yeah, that's how high school was. Like, you were getting one little beef, right? Say I was part of the Jets, right? And I would get one little ass bite, little ass fight, and I'd bump somebody in the, in, in the Jets or the Sharks. Then, but, all right, I'll meet you with the clock. And then you just walk home, find it, y'all just rumble. That's all. We just rumble. To, like, sometimes you win some, you lose some. Sometimes you fight to get, and, and let's believe, if you find one of the little sharks without their shark homies, then he gets rolled on. That's all. That's why you always have to walk home with your sharks or your jets, one way or the other. And I'll be honest, I don't remember what side story. I just know it. Like, it's like, it's like uh, pop culture. Like, I feel like I just know the story. Like, so we always fought in high school, like all the time fought. I done got kicked in the face. I done got my shit swolled up. I'm telling you, we fight all the time. Like, literally, it was just fight. We just fight and try to run trains on hoes. That that was high school. That's, that was entire high school in Philadelphia. That's it. You try to find some chick to run a train on, 
or, or you fight. That's it. And everybody had their little girlfriend you had on your own. But when you was with your homies, you would play sports, try to find a little skis to run a train on, and fight the other group on the other side of the block. That's high school in a nutshell. Y'all wonder why I just play mad now. I don't. It's like what the hell? I don't know what the hell y'all were doing in high school. I don't know where y'all from, but if you uh, listen, that's what we did in high school. My friends probably still do that shit. And they're like 30. That's all I did in high school. Fought all the time. But then as soon as like, like, because, you know, people can't always get their ass beat. One person wants to start shooting some shit. That's when I was like, all right, I'm done. One time, uh, just one boy just started shooting. And it's, all, it's all done. Everything's all fun and games. Done. No tender. Man, we just fight all the time. The big fights was on Friday. If you, if you had a fight, fighting on Friday was like the main event. Like you would have your little featherweights on Tuesday. Some bitches might fight on Wednesday. You know, something like that. But but the main event was Friday. And it, it was so bad that there was people in our squad that didn't even go to school. They wasn't even in high school. Or they went to some other school. They would just show up at the let out of our school. Like half the squad didn't even go to school. They just showed up at the let out. For real. Yeah, Friday Friday was the main event time to fight, honestly. Oh man, but that's enough enough of these stories, man. Like I said, man, we need we need a commissioner that has a relationship and cares about what's best for us, you know. And honestly, let let's 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 always take a step back and realize What's best for us isn't necessarily best for EA, you know? What's best for the profession of a man player isn't necessarily what's best for EA and their bottom line. It's not, you know, and we have to realize that. Kind of see all the decisions through EA glasses and not necessarily our own is one of the toughest things, honestly. I would love to be the community manager. I don't know what the community manager means, but I mean, I feel like this is kind of a way to do that. You know, um, the podcast is kind of like a branching out to being a community manager. I would love a position like that, honestly. I don't know how it works or what the hell I would do. You know, I, I one thing, as Wesley says that, he says a community manager doesn't listen to the thing Joke says. Let's all realize... That what everybody complains about, man, everybody wants a man. At the end of the day, it's really what's best for them. You know? Like, if someone wants more cap, they want to help their game. You know? I don't give a fuck what's going to make Wesley better. I don't really give a shit what's going to make Skimbo better. What's going to make Joke better. I really don't give a shit. I don't know what's going to make me better. Y'all got to understand that, honestly. First of all, y'all know this, T-Bud. I would never lie to y'all. I want y'all to... Y'all know that. Y'all know that 100%. That's why I wouldn't be good. I couldn't work for EA. You know? You know, for me, uh, yeah, I wouldn't lie to y'all. Y'all know that. Yeah. I don't know. Like I said, I, me and EA is never really going to work together, to be honest. No, I don't think. I, I, I'm going to be honest. If I was a casual player, I would be more pissed at not being able to stop the run. Not being able to stop the run would be something that would get me off the game. Not being, like, I don't know how to, you understand what I'm saying? Like, you know, that would, I, I would make, that would make me want to quit. You know, but anyway, let me get off of this joint. We have a WR Pro Am match to play tonight. I'm hype, um, excited. Really play a little bit of play a little bit of 2K. You know, as much as y'all want to hate on Madden, man, you need to support us playing 2K. If y'all want us to be successful, you gotta support the 2K. You know what I'm saying? That's all. Mm. 
Man, Kobe, I always stream 2K at nighttime. All right, I'm, 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 yes, we play on this stream, Cactus Carter, you know what I'm saying? We'll probably be back on in, in an hour and a half, an hour from now, honestly. Support Squid. Squid is going to be the, Squid is going to be top 10 point guard in the 2K stream. You know, I stream Madden all day today. No, it's not 3 a.m. Pyro. It'll be earlier than that. No, Journey on timeout. But anyway, this was the Need a Podcast. This was episode 50, man. Thank you guys for listening to us talk about shit, man. If you want to be involved in this, man, this is a community thing. It's about community manager. Twitch.tv slash dub dot. Tuesdays, not Tuesday nights, man. This is, We're getting close to the year. It's going to two weeks. It's going to be a year anniversary of the Need a Podcast, episode 52. I have two weeks to come up with something to do. I don't know if I want to sit here and do this damn show like this, but it might be, you know, but uh, we'll definitely talk about it. Throw some things around as what we could do for the year-long episode. I appreciate y'all coming by and hearing me talk. I might be the community manager one day because I'm super watching, man. Y'all told me being 320 and 230 is better than being 32 and 10. So I, I realized that for me to not be, be top 10 in man, I have to lose 230 times. I have to lose a whole week's worth of games straight. Consistently sit through weeks, a week's worth of losses in order to not be washed up anymore. That's what I learned today. So I'm glad you guys told me that. Hit the like button.